All right, so what's up, guys? It is Mr. Duck One Two. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. Ow. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I, I just uh, hit my elbow on uh, on the door. I am sitting right next to a door that is open right now. Just, let me just close it real quick. Okay. <laughs> What an intro. Okay, so basically today guys what is happening? I'm bringing you guys yet another weapon comparison video on infinite warfare So I know you guys really enjoyed the last video of that so I am glad you enjoyed it So I am here to make another one now before we get into this. I am so 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 sorry hold up I have not uploaded a video in almost two weeks. Now, the reason for this is because PS4 is being stupid trying to get broadcasts to work. My uh, storage on here needs an iOS update, but usually, uh, you know, you know, iOS updates, uh, you, you don't really go that well. And also, I have been working on a new channel called PD Films, all right? So, um, basically, it that uh, PD Films is filmed by uh, me and the man himself, Worth the Parrot, so I want you to go do me a favor, go check out that channel, um, I will, uh, you know, comment down below on the video, I probably could leave a link to it, but, uh, it probably wouldn't even show up, because I have, like, five videos and one, like, one subscriber, and I think it's worth a pair, but, um, anyways, go check out Worth a Pair as well, he is amazing, he does similar t content to what I do, and, um, Basically, today, once again, we are bringing, I'm bringing you guys another weapon comparison video. And once again, before we jump into this video, thank you so much. We have hit 20 subscribers, over 20 subscribers. I do not know how to thank you guys with this. We have hit 22 subscribers. I don't know how we have done it. Um, I'm pretty sure, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just... It's just crazy to think that I have reached that many subscribers in the matter of time that I have not uploaded any videos. So, um, today, I am going to be showing you what we are going to be facing off, alright? So, as you see right here, we have the Widowmaker and we have the KBS Longbow, okay? So, these two weapons have nothing in common, absolutely nothing. But, uh, we're just going to head straight into this video, alright? So, once again, these have no attachments, completely fresh no perks no nothing we are gonna head straight into a frontier match and we are gonna start this puppy right up all right so i hope you guys do enjoy this video also if you do please be sure to leave a like like i said i'm going to um you know comment down below on this video with uh, my pd films uh youtube channel that way you guys can go check me out uh well not just me it's actually um my friend mirtha pair as well so let's get started guys this is what we have for you today. This is the Widowmaker, and we have the KBS Longbow, all right? So right off the bat, I can tell you the Widowmaker has exactly twice as much, um, you know, like, uh, twice as much bullets, I guess you could say. And um, that is, like, like, I don't know. It just makes it, like, you have more shots with it. But uh, we're just going to head straight off with here. And we're going to see if we can kill anybody with it and see how good it is. Now, as you guys know, I did do the first one as I did in my other video. And it was the TF-141 versus the Widowmaker. As you guys know, the Widowmaker lost. Now, the reason for that is because of its recoil. Its recoil is really bad. Also, the damage. It's a two-bullet fire. That should mean that it should do like twice the damage, right? No, that's not what's happening here. Anyway, so once again, the uh, one who loses next time, um, so this is how it's going to go. So the one that loses in the first match is going to have to compete against the new one that nobody's seen yet. Now, um, this is what's happening right now. I've got the Widowmaker, and this is a weapon that you guys have not seen yet uh, for my weapon comparison series. But, as you guys see... It's obviously fires two bullets because look at this. It fires two. See? One right there, and it doesn't show the bullet hole for the other one, but look. See? It just shows the two fire. Shows the two steam, you know? Uh, the two bullets, okay? I don't know, like, what, how to explain the last part of that, but um, it's got the two bullets there. Widowmaker, once again, very good weapon. Good in damage. Um, I'd recommend chest. Uh, eh, chest and up. That's for, that's my recommendation. As you see, I hit him right there in the 
in the hip and it didn't really work but um uh, you're probably going to want to hit him chest up just like that uh, close range you're fine you can probably hit him uh but like maybe even in the thighs you know somewhere around, around that region and you could probably get a one shot one kill on them but long range i would recommend uh you know going for the maybe the head shots or the chest shots or something like that but now guys we are moving on to the kbs longbow all right so i used to call this thing the ksb longbow now I can straight off the bat tell you guys, this thing gets me so hard because look at this. You see the Widowmaker? This is bolt action, right? You see the bolt there? And look, you don't have to unscope from the gun itself to uh, to do the bolt. And look what happens with the KBS. You And then you got a bolt and then you aim again and then you bolt. And the bolt itself is super duper slow. Now though, I think the damage on this thing is actually better than the Widowmaker, which is actually surprising, uh, seeing as how the Widowmaker is actually one of the least damaged snipers on here, other than the DM, uh, the, I forget what it's called, DRM, I think, I don't know, it's called so, it's some, something around those uh, words there, or letters, but uh, it's, it's probably one of the least damaging snipers in its class, which is really odd, but uh, as you see, you know, just... It, it, it doesn't need to bolt, unbolt from that, alright? So, KBS Longbow, it has uh, six bullets in its clip, which is uh, half of the Widowmaker, like I said. So that makes it, you don't have as many shots with it, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's a really good quick scoping we weapon. Like, you can quick scope a lot with this. Now, I know um, most, I know I said like in my last video, most of these weapons in Infinite Warfare are not for quick scoping. Don't get me wrong, the KBS longbow is actually kinda good. Uh, if they just changed the bolt and how slow it was, it would be probably the best sniper, uh, in my opinion. And the TF-141, its recoil is a bit high, uh, but Widowmaker's is a bit higher because it goes a lot up, but that's probably because it's a heavy weapon. But, um, as you see, the K KBS is not so much of a uh, swaying weapon. Uh, as you see, the Widowmaker here doesn't sway a lot, and then got the KBS, it sways quite a bit, but if you just steady that thing up, doesn't stead, it doesn't, doesn't need to be, you know, worked with at all, it's fine there, but, basically, what I came here for to do is to test these weapons out and see how good they are, now, I can automatically tell you, guys, that this is probably the best no-scoping sniper, <laughs> I can tell you guys one thing. I have gotten a lot of no scopes with this thing. It's it's crazy, but um, this uh, the K the KBS is a very like nothing in common with the Widowmaker, and that's the thing though because the Widowmaker is very unique. It's a uh, you know two shot, two shot, and uh, you're guaranteed to get a kill uh, from up close. Shoot him in the chest and up with the Widowmaker, like I said, if you're at far range. And uh, once again, the KBS Longbow does not have the most ammo, which sucks. And also, you have to unscope uh, from the uh, gun itself to bolt, which is horrible. And the bolt is really slow as well. But uh, as I said, you can get like triple kills with this thing. Like, you can get collats with the uh, KBS. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can do that with the Widowmaker as well. But what I'm saying here is the KBS Longbow has a lot more damage. Um, its accuracy also probably a bit better. Uh, no, like, not as much um, swaying on the Widowmaker than the KBS. But um, the Widowmaker has uh, the recoil is like over 9,000. And uh, the KBS doesn't go that far. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty close with the recoil. Now, what I'll do to test it here is like that. And then, but you got to bolt it. So, it goes up to about here. All right, so we'll test that out again. All right, so it looks like it goes up to about there. So, uh, calculating that. I'm pretty sure that if you fire that uh, pretty that uh, the weapon like right after it, it's gonna have so much recoil. It's gonna suck. So I recommend waiting a bit until your rep your weapon is done swaying just like that, and then just stop like that. 
and that's the same with the KBS. Uh, once again, very good quick scoping weapon, uh, in my opinion. But now it is time for the winner, guys. Now this was a flipping, like a really tough decision for me, and I could not, I couldn't tell you guys how both of these weapons actually are really, really good. Alright, so now guys, we are going to uh, have a drum roll. No, never mind about the drum roll. Okay, but uh, anyway, we are going to announce the winner right now. As a matter of fact, it is a tie. I could not pick a winner for this weapon. This, um, These two weapons have nothing in common. Uh, one of them is very unique. One of them, you have to un the bolt is really slow. But I recommend, um, you know, a good sniping map for the KBS maybe because... Uh, you know this bolt is really slow and you have to unscope from the gun itself to bolt which sucks okay but i could not choose a winner for this guys so like i said there will be ties there will be ties don't get don't yell at me this is my opinion you guys have your opinion you guys be you i'll be me all right so basically guys that is going to be the end of this amazing video i'm sorry for not uploading in two weeks or like almost two weeks i will upload more now but if you guys enjoyed that video please be sure to leave a like and i will do um, more infinite warfare videos just like this once again you guys have your opinions. Tell me down in the comments below which weapon you think is better. If you do not know and have not tested one of these weapons, test them out right now. They're both really good, and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can, uh, you know, do pretty good with this. Get a lot of high score, you know, if you're playing with a game on noobs. And... Uh, I am pretty sure you guys are going to have a blast with these two weapons because these two weapons have nothing in common, like I said. But anyways, guys, that is basically Mr. Duck123 signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.